Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptive channel. In this video, which is a series of mastering AWS Bedrock, I'm going to explain the knowledge base. So with Amazon Bedrock knowledge basis, you can give your foundational models and agents contextual information from your company's private data. So you, you can connect these private data sources for RAG, which is retrieval augmented to deliver more relevant, accurate and customized responses. Okay, so this Bedrock now supports fully managed support for end-to-end -end RAG workflow. And you can securely connect the foundational models and agents to your data sources. You can also customize Amazon Bedrock knowledge basis to deliver accurate responses at runtime. Okay. And retrieve relevant data and augment prompts. So to get started, let's quickly connect to AWS Management Console and I walk you through a hands-on lab where we are going to create a knowledge base and we'll chat with that particular data. I'm logged into the AWS Management Console and here is the Amazon Bedrock service. I'll quickly navigate to knowledge basis under the builder tool you see this knowledge basis right click on that so as you can see how it works you can upload and chat so quickly query foundational models with context provided by ad hoc data set so if you want to chat with your document you can click here and chat with that you can create a knowledge base you can test it you can also use this knowledge base, okay? So you can integrate this knowledge base with your agents. I'll show you how you can do that, but before that, let's create a knowledge base. So I'll just name it like a CP over here, which is a cloud perceptor. I'll use the existing role I've already created one. Okay. This is fun for the knowledge base. All right. But before that, yeah, I forgot to tell you one step. You got to allow the model access over here. Okay. So here. You will see the list of models that are going to sh be sh shown over here. Okay. So we are going to use Titan embedding G1 text for which the access is already granted. But if it is not granted, you need to request the model access. Okay. We already have the model access, Claude 3 Sonnet, Haiku. So these are the ones which we have requested the access. So the access is there. If not, then you will have to get the access for this. So you can modify the model access from over here. Okay. Click here and next. And accordingly, you can get the model access. Okay. So since this step is already done, I'll move back to my uh, configuration page for knowledge business. I have selected the role. Under the data source, you can select Amazon S3. If your object, like if your data is stored, let's say PDF document or anything, is stored in Amazon S3, you can select it. If it is a web crawler, let's say you want to crawl through a website, you can use this. Confluence preview, Salesforce is there and SharePoint is there. Okay. But we are interested with the S3 because we have our files 
stored over there all right if you want to add tags you can do that log deliveries is there if you want to log the, you can you know configure and get your logs delivered over there we don't need this for this demo so i am not going to proceed with this too click on next okay it is now asking for the data source okay i'll just append cp over here it the data source lies in this particular aws account so i'm going to select this aws account choose a s3 location okay i'll click on browse s3 i have my knowledge base document over here so i'm going to select it choose chunking and parsing configuration we are going to use the default parsing strategy but if you have custom parsing strategy you can choose it over here okay if you, you want to use your foundational model for parsing you can also do that but for this demo we'll be going with the default option we have this advanced settings i am using the default kms key that's it select next now it's time to select the embedding models so i'll be selecting text g1 text version 1.2 vector database you can use your own vector database otherwise you can use quick create a new vector data store that is the recommended option so i'll go with this for quick and easy configuration okay enable redundancy active replica this the default configuration is active replica disabled which is optimal for development workloads enable this option if you want to enable redundant active replicas we don't need this for this demo we are just using development add customer managed kms key we don't need this at the moment click on next just review these options that you have selected that's it click on create knowledge base it is going to take a while for this knowledge base to be created so i am going to pause this video for few minutes All right so after a quick coffee break as you can see the knowledge base has been created successfully the status is ready so we are good over here you can see the knowledge base is available there is our data source the embedding vector dimensions is 1536 and this is the model we have selected all right so we can uh, let's unselect this option first we want to purely get the output from our uh, our embeddings i mean our rag hence i don't want to generate further responses i will disable that option all right i need to select this knowledge base click on sync it is now syncing the data source so let's wait for few minutes it says that it's going to take minutes to us but it usually gets completed within minutes okay the the sync is now completed i'll just try to test it click on run 
So as you can see, it is now returning the output. The output is coming from that the PDF that we have in the S3 bucket. Okay, so you can see the chunks over here, the query configuration, so type default. You can see the source chunks, right? The metadata that is associated with this chunk. For each chunk, you can get these particular details. So as you can see, we have developed a simple rag implementation using the knowledge base feature available in bedrock so that's it for this video thanks for watching do like and subscribe my cloud perceptor channel see you again in the next video till then goodbye